Hey guys, welcome back for another news update on Dokkan Battle. This is a couple days old, four days old to be precise. There was a JP data download on the 9th. Now, I did see it. I was like, I should probably do a video, but uh, I'm not gonna lie. Usually during the summertime, I spend a lot of time going out and doing things with friends and family. So um, I'm usually not home. And when I am home, I usually just want to lay down for a little bit. So I'm sorry for not getting this out to you. I didn't think it was too much news, too much information. Um, so I want to just, you know, bundle it in all at once because there's a whole bunch of stuff we need to talk about. I will be talking about the Gohan Easy A as well. So I'm going to do a light team building guide if you guys are interested in that. Uh, so uh, stay tuned. Um, I will also be doing the 120 Purple Stone video that should be released tomorrow. Um, and I'll also be doing the Dragon Ball Legends video, which will probably also be released tomorrow. So uh, stay tuned for all of that. Anyway, uh, let's go in here. The JP data download from the 9th. All right, we have the new Gohan. So when the all new Ultimate Gohan, this is, well, not the new one. It's the, the actual intelligence one. When key is seven or more, key plus five, attack plus 80%, defense plus 40%. The passive on his super is also super, super awesome. He greatly increases attack every time he launches a super attack, so you might want to go for double attacks on him because it has that Kaioken mechanic. From what I'm reading, it has that Kaioken mechanic. So that's so freaking OP. He's going to be doing so much damage after a couple turns, especially if you give him doubles. Um, new missions from 713 to 716, five stones a day uh, for spending 120 stamina, so you should make sure to spend stamina if you're a JP player. Um, the Elder Kai banner is also up. 50 stones for 10 Kai's, one multi only. So make sure you go ahead and do that if you're looking for Kai's. Um, it looks like we have the new weekend missions that are available. Um, so that's going to be there. That's going to be coming up, I think, was it 714 to 716? Um, so that's going to be starting tomorrow, technically today, I guess, if you're uh, with the Japan time and everything. So that's already started. Looks like you need to do 120 stamina use in order for you to get up to the five stones. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that this weekend. I usually don't uh, play too much JP, but I do have some good units. I'll go ahead and do that. The ultimate Gohan uh, Extreme Z Awakening is up uh, as of yesterday, so that's awesome. Um, second wave of the Tanabata missions are going to be live in a few hours, which means they're already live because it's supposed to be from two days ago. Um, earning Baba points gives 500 Baba points. Spending Baba points gives item. Using support items three, seven times gives you two Hercule statues and five stones. Completing all Orihime missions, um, I think it says it includes set one, gives seven stones, so that's awesome. Uh, Hikaria missions set two, clear clearing five and ten stages without support items gives one Elder Kai SR, five stones, clearing five ten stages without continues gives you one Elder Kai SR and five stones, that's ten stones total, on top of an additional seven stones for completing these two missions. Uh, that seems pretty, pretty freaking easy. Milky Way mission set two, winning stage five, ten, stage fifteen of an extreme Z battle gives ten stones plus statues. Clearing all the Milky Way missions gives 7 stones. Clearing all the above missions gives orbs. So there you go for that. Um, also, I guess this was a copy and paste from Koalasan. Um, anyway, next is going to be Extreme Z Awakening. Ultimate Gohan is weak to both Super and Extreme Physical types. So that means you know, it's also Majin Buu Saga category. So you want to take that into consideration. Let's see over here. Um, this is from the Wiki. By the way, shout out to the Wiki. Shout out to the Reddit, obviously. And shout out to Dokkan Battle Builder, which we'll be using right now. Um, characters from the Majin Buu Saga category will take less damage, mitigate Gohan's damage reduction, and cause increased damage. Uh, however, they won't be able to uh, bypass this damage reduction against specific types, which means you can only bring physical Majin Buu Saga teams. You want to bring those as your primary units. Um, so that's going to be these guys right here. Um, this is the leader. This is your leader for the Majin Buu Saga category. It's going to be intelligence or the physical Vegito. Um, the other leader is going to be the STR Vegito. This is the free to play one, um, but you really don't want to bring him. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, let's see. So pr pretty much this is what you're gonna want to do You're gonna want double super Vegito all the time available because they do damage reduction of 50% and they counter Definitely gonna be useful. You want the Super Saiyan 3 go tanks and the Super Saiyan go tanks if you have them Those are gonna be your primary rotation units Then you're gonna want to have this Gohan over here and this Super Saiyan 3 Goku over no, I'm sorry not Super Saiyan 3 Goku go this Gohan here and this Goku here the shattering strike Super Saiyan 2 Goku those are gonna be your support units I'll just show you over here this is pretty much how you're going to want to run your team. Like that. He's going to seal every other round. Um, these two link for five link skills. So they're going to be uh, linking. I know this is kind of like a team building guide as well. They have Golden Warrior. So one key, two, three, four, five key total. So they have five key. They share 25% attack buff. Um, the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and the Vegeta, Super Vegito share two key, 25% attack buff. 
Um, this Goku over here gives two Ki and 20% attack buff. This Gohan over here gives 35% attack and defense. And then your choice on who you want to run as your last unit, I'm going to say run this Majin Buu. He's not going to do a lot of damage, but remember, he does HP recovery. When, you're, when your HP drops below 40%, he recovers your health by 25%. So he's so freaking useful in this event. Um, you also have the Gohan and the, uh, well, it's actually supposed to be the Great Saiyan Man Super Saiyan 2. Um, and this Trunks over here, they are both very, very good units. I have orbs fed into, actually, I have orbs fed into pretty much every single unit here, except for Fat Boo and the Super Saiyan 2 Goku. So they're very, very useful. Um, you could also do a Majin Buu team. You could see these guys, um, if you want to run with them with your Super Vegitos. Uh, they do link very good together. They're not really that OP, so you really don't need to. Um, <clears throat> I guess this Boo would really be another good support unit, but... Only, be, only when your uh, HP is over 80%. That kind of is hard to do. And once you drop below the 80%, he just becomes completely useless. Uh, because there's no items in there. Um, let's see over here. This Boo. I just want to talk about this Boo really quick. Because I forgot what else he does. Uh, so, his, yeah, that's just his passive. There's nothing else. He lowers defense of the enemy. Um, 12 key multiplier of 150%. But he does only does extreme damage. And that's at a 120 level. Uh, so, again, he's only there for healing. But uh, he's still a really good healer. So, you will definitely get full advantage of him because he doesn't have a limit. It's just whenever HP drops below 40%, you get a 25% HP buff. Uh, so, anyway, that's going to be your primary, my recommendation for the teams that you run. Uh, bring the units that you can bring, obviously. Um, outside of that, that's pretty much that's all that's going on for the JP side in terms of um, the data download. Good luck on that Extreme Gohan. Uh, extreme EZA for the Gohan. <laughs> um, I know that's going to be a big thing when it comes to Global. I'll definitely be going for him. And now I'm going to probably go put some dupe system into him. At least just to give him full additional attacks. So that way he can get additional supers if you know at his most convenient. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to sub if you're new and I'll catch you all later. Peace.